Hey everyone, this is Chris from Know Your Why Recovery, and welcome back to another Know Your Term. Today we're going to be discussing MAT, or Medication Assisted Treatment. Now the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration defines MAT as the use of medications in conjunction with counseling and behavioral therapies to provide a whole patient approach to the treatment of substance use disorders. Even though that definition talks about counseling and behavioral therapies, which are a critical part to the use of MAT, often when people use the term, they're referring just to the medications. And these medications include medications that are given for alcohol use, such as acamprosate, disulfram, and naltrexone. They also include medications given for opioid use, buprenorphine, methadone, and again, naltrexone. And more recently, they include the opioid overdose prevention medication, naloxone. It should be noted that MAT has a long history of being controversial and causing a lot of strong opinions in treatment and recovery circles. Regardless of one's view on MAT, studies have shown that there's a number of positive outcomes that occur when MAT is used. These include increased patient survival rates, increased retentions in treatment, decreased illicit opioid use and decreased criminal activity, an increase in the person's ability to gain and maintain employment, improved birth outcomes for pregnant mothers with substance use disorders, and decreased risk of contracting HIV or hepatitis C by reducing the potential for relapse. Now, medication-assisted treatment is often viewed as something to only be used over the short term, but for many people who use MAT, using it over the long term is clinically justified. And there are studies coming out that show that for some people, long-term use of MAT is just as effective as short-term use and is okay. Now, if you or a loved one needs more information about MAT, you can go to knowyourwhyrecovery.com and visit our resources page. On there, not only is there a number of support groups and other resources, you could find the SAMHSA treatment locator, and that will actually help you find a provider in your area that not only may provide MAT, but also has uh, other counseling services for mental health and addiction. As always, thanks for visiting us and take care.